and now in is it Shilt, Shute or Wilmington? Wilmington, sorry. By the woods. But we spotted, we were here last week, but we spotted a bridleway down here. So we're gonna do a circular walk around the bridleway. And the weather today is back to beautiful. So we're back in spring again. Let's go for a nice walk. This is our views today so far. Sun is shining, blue sky, white clouds, birds are singing. I'm very, very grateful for today. It is a fantastic day. I'm really enjoying this walk. I've been on it all of five minutes. Looking forward to it. Oh, we're at a crossroad. Do we go that way? Or do we go that way? Sue's decided we're going this way. Map says this way. It seems wherever we walk now, we keep joining up to places we've already walked. So this part, we've actually walked before. Up to, uh, there's a beacon up the top of here. So let's see where this leads us. Well, we know roughly, but I don't mind following that river, really. Anyway, let's stick to the path. We just imagine going back in time and seeing what this road used to work, look like. This is an old Roman road. The last time we walked this was with Ruth and Mike in the summer was baking hot. I remember because Mike had jeans on and I thought, what is he wearing? But uh, yeah, good memories. Of course, Ruth now has been fully trained and is a qualified professional walker, of course. Look at where we are now. Quite dense wood over there. Very dense. Anything could be hiding in that. This bit there reminds me of the E.T. ride in Universal and the film. And uh, this is just beautiful. Good old patch more here. We found Shoot Beacon. There it is. You can see the sea over there as well. Stunning, isn't it? And this is inside. Oh, how the other half lives, eh? I could live like this. Don't need a much, lot of space. Look like the size of our bedroom. And just past the beacon are these seats. And what would have been perfect now is a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, but Sue didn't bring it. And I completely blame Sue. I'm going to sit on that thin one. I'm going to sit on the wider one. I have a wide buttock. You can see the sea from here as well. Oh, stunning view. I don't know why, but I got into my mind that the only way I was going to see redwoods like this is in California. But look, here you are, one, two, three in a row. Look at this. You could be in California right now with this weather and these views. And this takes about less than 10 minutes to drive to from our B&B. That ain't a, an incentive to come see our b and I don't know what is. Although, with that said, we are getting booked up quick. Wow, look at this. That's where we're camping tonight. That's a cool little house the kids have made, haven't they? That is cool. Yeah, that'll do for tonight. Everything looks better with the weather. Oh look, they're on a second home there by the looks of it. A bit greedy. morning Joe and Carol. It's good afternoon for us but good morning to you. And we're just in uh, Shoot Woods which is about five minutes from our bed and breakfast. The weather today is lovely and uh, we're just having a little walk through the forest and uh, oh we booked New York as well so we had some credit we had to use up on our flights through, um, with JetBlue for the run out so we used that and uh, so I think we arrive with you, stay with you for seven nights, then go to far, um, New York for like four nights, five nights, and then um, fly back with you for another five nights if that's all right. And here we are now. We've picked up a bride away now through the forest and we're making our way back down towards the car. Um, I'm pretty sure we've walked this one before. But it's dry underfoot. 
sunny up above. We've got forest on that side and fields on that side. Ideal spot. So here we are this morning in my garden, top part. I'm going to have a little walk around. wonder if you can hear all the birds like I can. Beautiful sounds this morning. Hope everyone's having a good day. We're just debating on where to walk this morning. So we'll find that a bit later. So we can actually just make out the path Sue made. A lot of stuff has died back now and we've cut it back. Although it will be overgrown in a few months with ferns. At the moment, you can kind of make out the garden. Get a lot of deer coming from over there, which is quite nice. Here's the uh, canoe and lobster traps look a lot prettier in the spring real flowers oh, I didn't know that come back so I'll we'll deal with that a bit later so it's quite nice sometimes we have little bonfires up here Got a few little bits of uh, wood in there Always ready to go. Quite nice. Got a little chair. Well, you might be thinking, I can only see one dog. Well, that's because Poppy has got into the routine of not wanting to come up to this bit. Why? I do not know. Senile, I think. This is going to look lovely flowering. It's got to be cut back. We cut it right back one year and it's back up again. And all this over here has got to be cut back. Great for the... Uh, a lot of cutting back to do. Oh, well, let's go this way. I'm on this path for a while. And over there, you can just make out a bit of carpet there. I'm going to be growing some courgettes and cabbages and various other things. That's what I hope to do anyway this year. As well as obviously use my utilize my two polytunnel. And we can see all the daffodils coming up. You can see all the daffodils. Poppy's joined us now because we're on the lower part of the garden, so you like weirdos. Poly tunnel. It's going to be brimming with, I don't know, lettuces, tomatoes, salad greens, all sorts. And there's our decking. It's looking a bit worse for wear at the moment. 7,000 screws went in this bad boy. There's chickens. Better feed them. These guys all want food. Just filling up their water. Oh, this one. Cheeky. Come on, bang it. Bang it. Oh. When chickens attack. Got to get these bad boys some more corn. Yeah, it's them all this morning. For those interested, I plant some Durham early cabbages that have grown. About a plant, planted those in 21st of Jan. And I planted these at the same time, they're sprouts. I know I shouldn't be growing them, but I know. Give it a go. I've just replanted some of those sprouts there. And there are my cabbages early. I've got also some um, peppers and some salad leaves and some tomato plants growing. Give it a go, eh?